to tech like video tutorials so in this video i'm going to give you brief information about lake house architecture like last two years if you observe in industry so most of the people are talking about lake house and what is exactly lake house architecture and what was before lake house like data lake and data warehouse so that we will understand in today's session so when you compare uh, from last uh, 40 years from 1980s to till there are different kinds of architecture in uh, modern and uh, traditional data warehousing projects modern and traditional warehouse data warehousing projects when it comes to late uh, 80s like uh, this data warehouse architecture introduced in 1980s from 1990 onwards you can see most of the dbms and rdbms following the same kind of architecture so traditional data warehousing projects, the sources will be, uh, most of the sources will be uh, structured databases like uh, ERPs, ERPs databases, nothing but OLTP databases, OLTP databases. Using ETL tool, we will load data into data warehouse. That data warehouse will call it as OLAP warehouse, OLAP database. Then any reporting team or BI team, they will extract the data and they will provide a report to the business people. This is a common architecture from last 30 years. So most of the projects uh, are using and the primary uh, data warehouse primary sources and the target as structured data. Sources also structured data, target also structured data. Then 2010 and 2011, when you compare data like came into the picture, mainly on on-premises, big data combination, hard, uh, distributed file system, HDFS, how to pop reduce, then later Spark came into the picture. So where data lake can store any kind of data, structured, semi-structured, unstructured. When it comes to on-premises or cloud, data lake is a common concept. On-premises means HDFS, where you can store structured, semi-structured, unstructured data. And then once data is available on data lake, again, we will use uh, some ETL tool. Uh, ETL tool is nothing but when it comes to on-premises, more uh, Scala Java-based projects. Even PySpark also is there, but less projects on on-premises. But when it comes to cloud, more PySpark projects. Then we will read the data and we will convert into data warehouse again. Like we will convert into structured format and we will load data into separate data warehouse. Then traditional reporting team, they will take care, they will collect and uh, they will use the reporting purpose. When it comes to advanced analytics, data science and machine learning, they will read data from data lake. And data lake where uh, you can store any kind of data and data lake is having uh, major advantages like uh, unlimited storage, uh, any kind of data, any type of data. Okay. And directly you can read from data lake. But the major disadvantages here when it comes to data lake, data lake is having a, a major features plus disadvantages like data warehouse disadvantage, data warehouse advantages here disadvantages. Mean databases, the major advantage is SQL performance tuning. Optimizer will be there, SQL optimizer will be there in your database. DML operations it will support. Upserts, insert, upserts, insert, update, delete, merge, everything you can use in data warehouse, databases. But those are missing here. Metadata management is a key important thing when it comes to analytics part. So metadata management also missing on data lake. So, in 2020, actually, Lakehouse, actually, Lakehouse Databricks with the Delta combination, they introduced in 2019. 2019, Lakehouse architecture, the combination of Databricks plus Delta Lake. So your data will be there on Data Lake. Your data will be there on Data Lake. On top of Data Lake, we will be using a Delta Lake with the Databricks. And the Delta will enable you database operations database features on top of data lake you will get all features so your data warehouse features your data lake features you will be getting both with a combination of data lake plus delta lake so that is called lake house architecture data warehouse plus data lake features we will be getting here you don't need a separate warehouse you don't need a separate warehouse so you don't need a separate warehouse everything will be there on data lake with the delta will convert into unstructured, semi-structured, structured format into analytics purpose. Let's understand each level. Let's understand each level. This is a traditional data warehousing projects architecture. Traditional databases sources will be ERPs, most of the ERPs, and that data will 
that is operational data. ERP is data means operational data. That data we will store into warehouses, data warehouses, maybe any data warehouse, Oracle, Teradata, DB2, SQL Server, MySQL. There are plenty of data warehouses are available. Then reporting team will take care. This is traditional data warehousing project architecture from past 30 years. You can you can find these kind of architecture on on premises. Then modern. So modern data lake architecture. Data lake architecture means where you will be having data on data lake. And when it comes to cloud, cloud is having a snowflake, Azure SQL, BigQuery, Redshift, and Hive. Even Hive was is there is there in on premises and cloud as well. Where separate warehouse. These are our separate warehouses where they can use for reporting purpose. Nothing but these are our data warehouses in cloud, even on premises. So separate data lake, separate data warehouse. But you, you are going to manage data lake separate, you are going to manage warehouse separate. Depends on cloud. If it is Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, Azure SQL data warehouse, A third party is Snowflake. So the latest lake house architecture. You don't need a separate warehouse. Everything you can go with a modern data warehouse. Everything you can go with modern data warehouse with this architecture. Structured, semi-structured, unstructured data will be there. Then on top of that, Delta Lake will be there. Then Delta Lake will enable you. It will convert all this structured, semi-structured, unstructured into structured format. It will enable you database features. Then you can use for batch purpose, streaming purpose, BI, data science, machine learning. And metadata catalog will be there and which you can go with any, any kind of analytics, which you can go with the data science machine learning or a scale analytics or any streaming or a batch process. And the Delta Lake will enable you on top of Data Lake. On Data Lake, the data may be structured, unstructured, semi-structured, and your delta will convert into structured format that data you can use for so the data always will be there on data lake data lake plus delta lake combination you will get all features and you can find a competitors for delta lake iceberg and apache hoodie these two are competitors for delta lake but the default when it comes to data bricks you will get a delta lake and outside data bricks if you want to use the lake house architecture you can go with the iceberg hoodie so your data will be there on data lake only on top of data lake delta lake will be enabling metadata caching index layer all dml operations okay metadata management asset transactions everything will be enabled it's like database features i mean metadata catalog will be there that data bricks old old data bricks uh, spark catalog and the new data bricks unity catalog so that catalog will enable you data lineage and the multiple catalog multiple uh, catalogs like if if you go with the unity catalog so you can go with the multiple like data mites kind of, marks kind of a design you can go with this so this is about lake house architecture lake house architecture you will be getting a data lake features you will be getting warehouse features that warehouse features means a delta delta lake will enable you on top of data lake delta lake will enable you on top of data lake all the features what we are looking for data warehouse features so data warehouse plus data lake is nothing but lake house nothing but lake house so this is about brief information about lake house architecture and uh, you can find a lot of projects in uh, databricks you can find uh, you can just google it go to the databricks and uh, databricks solutions you can find a lot of uh, videos and documents on lake house architecture even a lot of success stories also available. Just you can go to the Databricks website and uh, query or Google it. Just uh, Databricks success stories. So a lot of customer stories. They already implemented a lot of projects. You can find a lot of customer stories here related to Lake House. You can go with uh, industry wise. Okay, a lot of projects and documents videos are available in the portal so this is about lake house and uh, feature will be the lake house and uh, when it comes to databricks is available in all the clouds so databricks combinations spark 
Spark SQL, PySpark combination, which you can go and manage Lakos project. This is about basic information to Lakos architecture. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. See you in another video. Thank you. Have a good day.